Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Intune Test Automation with Cypress course. And in this video, we'll be talking about the all new feature released by Cypress on SciDot Session API. So this is an experimental API and still in the experimental session support flag, which means you need to enable this as true in the Cypress config file so that we can use this particular feature itself. So let's quickly talk about this session API and why this is very, very interesting. So if you go to this documentation of Session API, you will see that we could able to catch and restore the cookie local storage and session storage in order to reduce the test setup time. This is very important because every time while we run the test, we might need to log in into our application if we have a login operation on that. And then we need to perform certain actions based on the login operation that we are doing in. So for example, if we need to access certain operation of our application, then we might need to log in into the application so that we could be able to perform certain actions on them. And in order for certain test, if we need to log in each and every time, then we, every time we need to be logging into our application and then we perform the intended action and then logging off the application and again logging in to perform certain scenario operations. So that's going to be really a time consuming process. But if we could able to catch and restore these cookies, local storage and session storage, which is used by our application to store the credentials, then that will be awesome because using these options, we could reduce the number of times we are logging into the application itself. So the test will be much faster. So if you see in this particular application that we used to test within our uh, course so far, the eaapp.sami.com website, every time, if you could see here, before logging into this application, we only have the employee list option and we don't have an option to create the employee, something like that. So every time for creating an employee, we need to log in to this particular application using the username and the password. And you will see that there is two new items over here. And once we go to the employee list, we have an option to create a new employee over here. So this is all coming because the user is actually logged into the application and he could be able to perform this action. But let's assume that for testing like user creation and deleting the user, editing the user, something like that, if you could be able to perform all these action every time I need to log into this application to perform certain action. But if we could be able to catch the session and the cookie information, then I don't have to necessarily log in each and every time. That way my test will be much, much faster. So in order to use this feature, we need to be updating or upgrading our project with latest version of Cypress, which is at least Cypress 8.2.0 since the latest version of Cypress is actually 8.3.0. I have already installed the Cypress 8.3.0 in one of the template project. And if you could see here in the project package.json file, I have the Cypress 8.3.0. And you can also see that I have created a very, very super simple template structure of the test that I'm going to be talking about. And you can see that this test is very, very simple. All it's doing is it's going to have a login operation, which is actually wrapped in as a method over here. And then I'm passing in the username and password in the before each. And this is the test which is going to be running the test for us. And again, this is generated by the Cypress Studio and I have not even written. That's why you can see that the identifiers are quite crazy. But yes, this is what it's going to be doing. So let's try to run this particular uh, test and I will show you what I really mean. So if I just do an npx Cypress of open, it is going to launch the Cypress and I'm going to run the first session test.spec.js and you will see that the first test is actually running by doing a visit operation of the eaapp.sami.com website and it's going to perform the login operation and then it's going to navigate to all the links which is available like employee list, employee details and manage user. That's it. So this is the operation which is currently doing. But let's say that our test actually has got uh, two operations. So let's say uh, I have to do the same operation once again. Uh, let's say I'm gonna do like a second test over here. So if I just uh, save this test, you will see that I have first test and the second test. So every time it is logging in, and for the second test, actually it's just using the existing session. So basically uh, it should have clicked the log off operation, but if it doesn't really do a log off, then it is going to use the existing session itself. And then it is performing the operation straight away. But let's add the uh, log off as well over here. And you'll understand what I really mean. So this is going to perform the log off. I'm going to save this. So you can see that logged in, performing the log off, and then it's going to log in once again and then it is gonna perform the action for us over here. And then it is logging off. 
So this is like a time consuming process, like because if I want to have like two tests, then I need to keep on doing the login operation once again, uh, because it has logged off, I'm just doing that again. So it's gonna be like a time consuming process. But as I told you, with Cypress new dot session API, we could reduce this much, much further. So we can reduce the time itself. So you can see that for running this test, it took like 12 seconds so far. So let's see if we could able to reduce the time using the dot session API. So for doing that, I'm just gonna go over here and then I'm just gonna put session, and within this session, I'm gonna pass the name and the password, something like this. And I'm just gonna use the Lambda expression over here. And let's also try closing oops, over here. And I'm just closing this particular uh, login as well, which is cool. So now that I have just added the side dot session, but as I told you, in order to use the side dot session, we need to be enabling the experimental features within the cypress.json file. So let me do that as well. So I'm just gonna save this. Uh, and now let's see what happened to our test. So if I try running the test, let's see what's basically gonna happen. So you will see that the first test is gonna start running. It's gonna enter the username and password as usual. It's gonna log in, it's gonna perform the action. And then for the second test, you can see that it is actually doing the same operation once again over here. But that's not the right way, right? I mean, even though we added the session, it is doing exactly the same thing. Why is that happening? Well, it is happening for one of the important reasons. So if you use the uh, Cypress Cydot session, we also need to tell that, all right, this is the consideration that I have, that I have my session being stored and I'm gonna be using the operation to navigate to the different link within my test. So I'm also assuming that the session is being stored here, so which means I don't really have to necessarily log off each and every time, right? Uh, even though if I log off, let's say let this log off be available over there, I'm also gonna tell to the Cypress that, uh, hey Cypress, just go and visit for me the homepage, like, I am logged in already, something like that. So just visit me in this particular homepage so that I can keep looking into a logged in state instead of in a log off state. So let's do that. So I have just enabled the site out visit as the first command over here on that particular test. And you will see that now the test is like running a bit more magical. Did you see what happened actually? So let me try rerunning it again. So the first time, uh, let me try closing this test because that's not going to be clear. Stop the test. I'm going to run this again. You'll see that the, for the first test, it is going to perform a login operation, which is quite normal. And then for the second test, what it is going to do, it's not going to log in again. Rather, it is just performing the same operation, even though for the first test, we did the log off. The reason why it is actually happening is because it could able to realize that, all right, this session has already been logged in. Why do I really need to log in, uh, log in again? Because there is a session information. So I can directly use that. So you see that for the first time, it took like 20 seconds. And now the time is just eight seconds. The reason why this is happening is because it is using the session of that particular logged in state. And it works as expected. So now our test is like at least two times faster than the actual test. Like it's just taking like seven seconds compared to, I think it was 20 seconds before. So this is the way that we could actually improve the speed of the test. And let's say I also have a test to perform like the create user operation. So let's say I'm just gonna put this guy over here, uh, creating the user. So if I just save this, uh, you will see that it is gonna do the same operation pretty faster, uh, pretty much like coming from the session information itself, which is quite cool. All right, so this is how we could actually able to uh, work with the Cypress using the Cypress session API. But now there is another way that you can use the Cypress uh, session API instead of holding this like a method over here. We can also put it on the command like Cypress uh, command site dot command, which we already discussed in our uh, course. So we can do that as well. So all you need to do is uh, just do something like Cypress dot commands dot add. And you can see that my copilot is telling me exactly what I should be doing. Cool. And instead of the uh, email, I'm gonna probably use the name uh, and the password. And let me copy paste the code that I have 
uh, written over here for the Cypress session. And once I have this, uh, I can then go back and I can just remove this code completely. And over here, I can just do sci.login, which is going to perform the login operation, which I have written on the command over here. So let me save this. Let's see what's going to basically happen. Oops, I think I have to remove this guy. I don't know how it came through. All right. So now it is working fine as expected. So this is how we could actually use the side art session even in the command. And we could able to see that we could achieve a tremendous amount of speed in the test execution compared to not having that particular feature within it. So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and hope you like the new feature of Cypress.